What's up, Marvel fans? It's Brian, and we're back again for the shop tour, or technically the desk. So we'll take, give you a little tour of the desk. But first, we want to say that this is an ever-revolving, evolving type of situation. Uh, I've never been truly 100% happy with my workspace, and I probably never will. So that's one of the projects that I'm always working on is trying to either A, make the desk space more efficient, or B, just trying to make it less cluttered. Um, so uh, we mentioned in our last video about lighting and stuff that we do have a new a new light here. So we're kind of excited about seeing how that's going to help us out. Um, we'll start on the far side here and we'll ignore the G.I. Joe stuff. That's a whole other video, a whole other channel as a matter of fact. But uh, so we have these little towers. Uh, we see these at Target. Very, very, very inexpensive. I, I've seen these things in so many other videos from you guys. We all know they're pretty ubiquitous. Um, we have, uh, in this drawer down here, we have our magnets and, and tubing benders and then tubing cutters. Uh, I, for some reason, that just all seemed like it should go together. And then we have all of our different bits of wire, all different types and lengths, uh, ranging from copper to steel all the way up to uh, just some plain old solder for doing our exhaust systems. And then, speaking of exhaust systems, here's where we keep our shrink tubing. And the shrink tubing we use for either roll bar padding or possibly even making the collectors when we do our own headers, make our collectors out of solder. And the candles. Well, the candles are just for if I want to have a nice quiet evening by myself when I can relax and with a glass of wine and just uh, think about myself. Um, over here is our bottle cap collection. And I like collecting these little plastic caps because they're perfect for... Uh, we see that we've already mixed some paint in this one here, but I flip it over and then that's where I put my um, super glue or white glue, whatever, and I dab out of that for whatever project I'm working on. And it always seems to work really, really well for that. And then they're recyclable too. Um, whether or not they're recyclable, if they have super glue on it, I don't know. I haven't gotten a letter from the recycling company yet, so I think I'm in the clear. Uh, and here, it, I'm a little, a little light on clamps right now because I think some project someplace has most of my clamps. But uh, these little plastic dealies, we get these at uh, Harbor Freight for just a few bucks. And they, uh, when I first got them, I didn't think they were very, they, I didn't think they were very effective. But now um, I've learned how to use them and they are actually very, very effective and they're really nice to use. Um, and then down below is what for some reason we call our art supplies. And um, basically it's our Tamiya weathering powders, our rusting powders, and then our our Ushi powder and then some pastel chalks and then we have some stains of so stain pens if we want to do any actual wood staining for like surfboards or whatever which I haven't built in years by the way and then some Tamiya putty there so that's always a nice little thing always good always good to have that stuff all kind of grouped together this little tray uh, Lindy brought that home from work recently um, the lid was broken on there. I didn't quite know what I was going to use it for until I realized that the Microsol Microset bottles fit in this tray perfectly. Now, what the tray originally started its life out as, I don't know. It came home like this. So I was like, sure, I've got a use for this, no problem, because, you know, these guys are the ones that always fall over on their sides. And we have our toothpicks that we use these for glue applicators or paint stirring. And then um, these little brushes here. We were buying some stuff on Amazon, and Linda was like, hey, do you think these would be useful? We gave them a try. Uh, they're not that great. They do have a robust uh, handle to them, so if you want to use that for paint stirring, whatever, it's cool. But these little tips are like a felt tip, and they absorb whatever you put them into, and they don't give it back very nicely. So um, I have used them for applying Ushi powder. They work well for that, but uh, in the meantime, if you're going to be using that for, for painting or anything like that, they're, they're not that great for it. And then over to the far left, we have our little tray with all of our pens and pencils and apparently my iPods <laughs> in there too. But uh, my desk doesn't have a drawer down below for the pens and pencils and stuff, so I ended up picking up this thing, which is cool because it's not really taking away any of my surface area. And it helps me divide up my surface area a little bit here because now I have my, my in and out box. This box here is stuff that I have um, just sort of clutter that, that have accumulated on the desk. And now I'm waiting to put that in the assorted bins that they're supposed to go into. And then we have one that doesn't have an actual drawer system in it. We, we're using it as a garage for our Lamborghini kit. Uh, we've been working on this off and on for over... 
ever since January, I guess, I think. Um, so we've been tinkering with that one on and off. I don't think I've done any videos on it because it's not really worth the video. Uh, but um, I like having that in that little garage area there. So it, it's, it stays dust free for most of its uh, time on the bench. Why do we have the camera light on? There we go. And then over here on this side, we have another garage with our Woody hanging out, which we uh, mentioned in our last video. And then uh, here's some other bits, his bobs. Uh, sanding sponges, all different types and sizes. Uh, stirring sticks, these guys are basically the uh, micro brushes. Uh, once we get, because these are pretty much single use, uh, when, that, when we use it, we just flick off the tip which we can't do single-handedly, but it leaves a nice pointed uh, stick there. And these are good for, um, if you want to do, um, like if you're painting wheels and such, these will fit a lot of different size uh, uh, wheel backs. And, um, or, or the, 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 it's got a nice taper to the front of this here, so we can cut that at whatever length we want and then have that particular type of diameter, that type of thing. And this is a little dish that we set the, the if we're using these as stir sticks, we put those in there to dry and then we throw them away or, I mean, recycle them. And then uh, down below is our assortments of tapes, all different types. And then, um, let's see here. Oh, this. Okay, this is cool. Linda brought this home from work. It was on a, some sort of coffee creamer thing that was at work that they ran out of. And she saw this and she thought that would be really useful for Brian. So she brought this home from work and I was like, sure, okay, great. So I put I was putting rubbing alcohol in here to clean my brushes off and then I got tired of cleaning it out and then I realized I have these little medicine cups that basically fit right in there. I was like, oh, my world has changed for forever. And I put some felt on the bottom so it wouldn't slide around too much. But um, yeah, that's one of those fun little things that you just kind of stumble across. And then back here we have our Lazy Susan with all of our lazy things. Uh, pipettes for uh, for sucking up paints and stuff and yes I do need to do a video about the colors that we use for our wood coloring and I will get to that I promise I will uh, here's our coffee mug with our shop card on there that was that was kind of a fun thing to get uh, different bits of uh, plastic and then um, these guys uh, I think HPI guys had a, had mentioned this in one of his videos so we went and did a search on Amazon for him these are perfect for applying um, Ushi powder. And they're supposed to be for putting on um, eyeshadow or some jazz like that. I'm not quite sure. But uh, Lindy found those on Amazon also for an awesome deal. And they're perfect because they, they do hold the Ushi powder. They hold it really well. And it allows you to apply it whatever you want. And it doesn't really fall off very easy. Like if you use a cotton bud, uh, it'll fall off the cotton bud while you're just trying to move that to your project. These guys hold that, that powder really, really nicely and allow you to burnish it pretty well, too. Um, and then here is the last of the authentic um, uh, future. That's actual real future. <laughs> that's like, that's 18 years old right there. Um, I've had that for forever. So just all in my little tub that I use for uh, putting water in for when I'm doing wet sanding or whatever. Uh, all that stuff lives there. And then over here is our cool little rack this was a we'll pull back a little bit here this was a johnny lightning uh die cast car holder it's something you could put on the wall or whatever i lost the lid for it and then i discovered that these little square bottles fit in here perfectly even this little hexagonal dude that's um kind of a hard dude to find a spot for because he's so oddly shaped but this is perfect and yes i have a lot of stuff going on here but uh hey it's the name of the game sometimes right uh, let's see. Uh, and then we have our little basket. And this was like a, a toiletry basket or something like that. We got that at Target. It was on clearance, so it was just a few bucks. It comes with a whole rack system, and I'll show that here in a second. But I decided to glue some medicine uh, job, medicine pill jars in here, and um, I hot glued those in. And uh, so they're, they're, they're sturdy enough to stay in there and do their job. But if I, if I choose to change my mind and take them out, it's not a problem. It'll come right out. So that's kind of a nice deal. But uh, over time, we just started adding things that we started using the most of. And this is uh, what I call the mission critical uh, tools. So all of the tweezers that we like to use, burnishers, uh, scribers. Um, we even have our... Um, our little machinist's uh, ruler in there, our nippers, and our, our hobby knife. 
Uh, and then uh, files and scrapers. Back here we have brushes, sanding sticks, and then our assortment of pens. We have all of our metallics and stuff here. I have a black gel pen, a white gel pen, a chrome gel pen, uh, our chisel tip Sharpie, uh, a bunch of different Sharpie colors and stuff, and then even a mechanical pencil because sometimes that comes in handy as well. So. Uh, this is really this came about because I was doing a lot of work in the here in the hobby space But then I was also working at the table uh, Sitting next to Lindy while she was doing her her knitting So we would go watch a show together and I would have this out and I would start working on a model or something like that While I was in the same space so I could keep my hands busy uh, Rather than like screwing with my phone during the middle of a show that I wasn't that interested in like I don't know Grey's Anatomy, but um so yeah, that, that kind of came about because of that, and it works really well because uh, up until recently, our club would do a, um, a, a group build at the, um, at the hobby store, like every other Saturday. So this was great. I would just load this up and take this with me, and off we went, and it was perfect for that. So the rack that that came in was this guy here, and uh, that would sit... The, the bowl basket would sit up on top of here, and uh, I thought, you know, I didn't like the paint rack that I had on the back wall there, so I cut up some plywood, made some made some shelving on it because it's just got some wire rack on there, and I moved all my tamias. So these are my gloss tamias here, these are my flat tamias here, and some of my masking tape that didn't fit in the, the tape bin. And then the whole thing's on wheels too, so if I choose to move it out of the way or roll it around and stuff, that's no problem at all. And then down below is all of our stuff for painting so we got spring clips we got alligator clips we got what i call dragon heads uh they're like a, a plastic version of the alligator clips and then popsicle sticks and then some uh wire spring clips and uh, these are the tamiya ones down here um they work fairly well for certain things but um and then uh, the blue tack i usually have like a, a thing of blue tack stuck to this as a matter of fact oh, i don't know where it went <laughs> So, and then uh, all of that, all the stuff here would get uh, shoved into one of these. So we paint it and then stick it on here to dry. Um, I have two of them right now uh, because this one's falling apart, is dried out, is dying. So we have a new one waiting to go. And then over here is our projects in progress stack. Big wig. We got the the BC right there. I have them off the desk so I do my filming. But uh, I got the big rig. Our, here's our Lamborghini kit that we're working on. Let's just get a closer look at that one there. It's the silhouette kit. This is, it says testers, but it's actually a gun sangyo kit. So it's actually a motorized toy rather than an actual model kit. And then our Tamiya Nissan that we've been uh, having a good time with lately. And then down below is all of our splash paints that we're looking forward to getting to use because it's summertime now. I like using these in the summertime. And then... Uh, Tamiya primers, uh, overstock Tamiya paints back there in the background, and then uh, the box for our woody wagon there. And then down below is our accoutrement of uh, Tamiya spray cans. Now, it looks like there's a lot there, I know, but here's the thing. Cans like this guy right here. I bought that for one specific application. That was four years ago, and I haven't had a chance to use it on anything else because I don't like the color. <laughs> But I used it on a um, uh, breast cancer awareness build that we did. I think that was one of our very first group builds that we did, uh, that we joined in. And um, I haven't had a use for it. So it's just sitting there on the shelf because throwing it away would just be silly. Uh, so there's a lot of colors here that had just one specific purpose, and that was it. All right, guys and gals, that's pretty much it. Uh, over to the side is, we'll go back to this setting here, is our stack of stash and that's all on wheelie carts so if we need to get out of here fast uh we can grab one of these carts and run and it'll be that one because that one's got all the tamiya kits on <laughs> and, and the bandai kit so th this is the this is the cart that's gonna go uh with us and lindy has all of her yarn and stuff on on a on one of these racks also out in the, uh, the tv room it's her yarn shop she calls it and um if something ever happens, she's going to grab that. I'll grab this one, and we'll be standing at the curb waiting for the fire department. All right, y'all. And no, nothing up here is for trade or for sale right now. So I just want to get that out of the way.
But that's basically our room. Uh, thank you guys for tuning in again. Uh, thanks for all the wonderful comments and support, especially hitting the 1,000 subscriber mark. Uh, everybody take it easy, and we'll talk to you a little bit later on. Bye now.